Welcome to the Data Migration Service. Our new Data Migration Service helps you securely copy emails from a third-party email service, which supports IMAP servers like Yahoo, Fastmail, or GoDaddy, into your Google Workspace account. Since it's built directly into the Google Admin Console, there's no need to install anything. Before you begin, make sure you have admin sign-in details for Google Workspace and login credentials of users whose data you want to copy. Got them? Great! The very first thing to do is to sign into the Google Admin Console. After signing into your account, select Data from the Navigation menu and go to Data Import and Export. To open the Data Migration page, select Data Migration, New. Choose the tool you're migrating data from, in this case, IMAP. If you are copying emails from Microsoft Outlook or a personal Gmail account, select those specific options instead. We have separate guides to walk you through those processes. First, you'll need to connect your old email service account to the Google Workspace account you'll be migrating to. Provide the IMAP server address of the email account you want to copy emails from, then click Test Connection. Note that the IMAP server address will vary based on the old service you are using. Here we are using Fastmail as an example. You can find server addresses of common IMAP services in a link in this video's description. The migration service can only read data. It can't change anything in your old email account, so it remains intact. Once you see a connected message, you're all set. Okay, the next step is to specify whose information you want to copy and where each person's data should go by mapping or matching each user's old account to their new one. But first, make sure that all of your new Google Workspace accounts have already been created. The migration service can only connect existing user accounts. It can't create new ones. Once you've confirmed the new accounts exist, download the sample CSV file. Next, open that file in a text editor on your computer. On each new line, type the user's original email address, then a comma, then their password of the old email account followed by a comma, and then their new Google Workspace email address you want to copy their emails to. It's important to put each user's details on a separate line. It's very important that this is accurate so that everyone's data goes to the right place. Okay, it's time to decide exactly what information you want to transfer. You can select a specific start date from which emails will be migrated. You have the choice to copy spam and deleted emails or even exclude specific folders. Once you are set, click on save. Great, your setup is complete and you're ready to run the migration service. Click the start migration button to begin copying your data. You'll be able to watch the progress right on your screen. It will show you the overall status and details on how many items have been discovered and copied. Don't worry if you need to stop for any reason. You can hit the Stop Migration button at any time. When you're ready to restart, the migration service remembers what's already been moved. It'll only copy items that are new or didn't get migrated. The migration process keeps running in the background, even if you navigate away from the page. You can come back to check the status anytime. Once everything is finished, the migration service will show the status as complete. After the initial migration is complete, we recommend running it one more time to copy any new emails received during the first copy process. Also, export a migration report for a summary that highlights any errors or items that couldn't be moved. You can fix these issues, then run a final migration. And that's it! Once you've reviewed the reports and are happy with the results, your migration is complete.